There was an Amy who had a bad day, and Normal was its name, oh. N-O-R-M-A-L, 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 and Normal was its name, oh. Hey, I'm Amy on a lolly light. Today, we're gonna talk about depression and what it feels like at its worst. And this is something that is applicable to everyone. Because whether you have depression, ooh, this is quotes, quotes with big fingers, okay. Whether you have depression or not, <laughs> I don't know why I can't do, okay. Whether you have depression or not, you will have depressed moments, like ultimate depressed moments, because everybody does. Here's the thing about depression. It makes our minds think that those bad things that are around us and that are happening to us right then and there have always been there and are just never going to go away. And depression amplifies and like hones in on the negative things that have happened in our lives. And it makes it seem like those things are the only things that have happened in our lives. It makes it feel like your life has been nothing more than just one big horrible problem after another. Do you ever have one of those lives where your best efforts are completely misunderstood and it seems like your only talent is your ability to be a jerk without trying? Yeah, me too. Have you ever had one of those lives where mediocre is what your best efforts yield and then people act surprised because you even did that well? Yeah, me too. Do you ever have one of those lives where everything you touch falls apart and you're so sad that like it physically hurts to breathe? Yeah, me too. Me too. Do you ever have one of those lives where you don't have anything left inside to give anyone and even your dog doesn't like you because you don't even have the energy to take him for a walk? Me too. Yep, I gotcha. There's this G.I. Joe phrase and it goes, knowing is half the battle. Why is that? Why is knowing half the battle? When we know about a situation and what to expect from it, then we have a chance to like think it through and to like think through what would I do if this were to happen and what would be the outcome and how would I deal with that? And so when you have that knowledge, it better helps you deal with the circumstances that are in front of you. The truth is, it's rare to have a day where nothing goes wrong. As a matter of fact, it's so rare, I would dare say that it never happens to have a day where nothing goes wrong. Even on a day where you were in a race and you won the race and it was so wonderful and you were just like, yes, I did it. If you think back on that day, you realize that while you were eating your cereal that morning, you were so preoccupied with something that you like dribbled it all down your front and you had to, sp you had to change your shirt because you'd spilled the cereal down the front of your shirt. That, that happened that day. It wasn't something that you really thought too much on because you were preoccupied with getting ready for the race and then you won the race and so it was like, ta-da! Or perhaps on a day when you get an A on a test that you worked extra hard studying for that test and you have just really put your effort in and you got an A on it and you're like so excited. That's awesome! But you also got a new little zit that day. It's not something that you like think too much on that day because it really is overshadowed, significantly overshadowed by the A that you got, that you'd worked so hard on. On the day that you paid off your car and you'd been working for years to pay off your car loan, and so you get the car loan paid off and you're just like, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yeah, on that day, you misplaced 20 bucks and you can't find it and you are just positive that you put it in your jean pocket somewhere, but it's just not there. But it's overshadowed by the fact that you had accomplished something that you'd been working towards, a good thing. Well, 
depression takes all of those situations and it puts it in black and white and the only thing in color is that one tiny bad thing that happened that day. In the same way that winning the race overshadowed dribbling some cereal down the front of your shirt and having to change your shirt, depression changes those and it makes it so that the only thing that you can think of is the the cereal that you dribbled down the front of your shirt and how you couldn't even manage to get cereal in your own mouth. And it doles out the victory. And so the A on your test, winning the race, being able to pay off a bill, those kinds of things completely doled out. The only thing that is in bright, vivid, and probably oversaturated color are those terrible things that have happened in your life or those moments that aren't even necessarily super terrible, just obnoxious, where you your car keys were misplaced and it took you two or three minutes to find your car keys or you're having a hot flash right when you're trying to film. When we're given a black and white picture of our life where only the negative things are in color, it's not an accurate description of your life. That is what depression gives you though. When you know that or you've talked to somebody and you've let them know, you know, this is, this is the kind of thing that depression does. This is what it gives you. They're better able to look at that and know how to deal with that particular situation because they know what to expect. And because in those moments when your world goes completely black and white, except for the bright, vivid, bad things in your life, they can say, hold on, I know what this is. My mom talked to me about it. Or I know what this is. My, you know, my friend and I discussed this over lunch one time. You know that what you really need to do is you need to sit down and look at any particular part of your life a little bit harder to notice the things that are not in bright, bright vivid colors, those good things that depression's kind of like blurred out a little bit because they're there. That knowledge tells you what to do when you find your life to be this colorless slog dotted with bright, colorful trials. You know you need to push forward just a little bit longer. Don't quit just yet. Even the happiest people have these moments, these depressed moments. Even when they don't have depression, everybody has those moments where life is like so overwhelming and so horrible and you just feel like it's always been that way. Truthfully, those people that always seem happy or don't have depression and aren't like having major issues, those people are sometimes more susceptible to the downfalls of these horrible depressed moments because they've never had to deal with them. Nobody's talked to them about it and what it feels like to have those moments and they don't know what to do. As parents, we need to talk to our kids about those ultimate bad moments. And as people, we need to talk to our friends about those ultimate bad moments and about how it makes you feel and what you should do when those situations happen. When you've talked with somebody about those ultimate depression moments, even if they don't have any practical experience dealing with something so treacherous and deceiving, they're more likely to handle the situation well because you've given them tools specific for them in their toolkit. One of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this is because I know what depression is. I deal with it. I know about these ultimate depression moments. I know how they feel. I know what they do. And yet, I had one of those a couple days ago even knowing what it was, I still had trouble dealing with it a lot. Like I would not have been able to handle things if I, if I had nothing in my toolkit to deal with it. 
if I had never dealt with it before, if I had never had somebody talk to me about depression, if I had never been through some counseling, if I had like if I hadn't had some of those things, um, it would have been a different, a very different story because <laughs> because it's hard and you feel like you don't have any control because you don't but you know whatever um <laughs> at least sometimes you can pretend like you have control the thing that i've decided was going to be my purpose right now my purpose right now was is making youtube videos i guess i have lots of other things that i do um and plenty of other demands on my time but I just decided, you know what, I am going to try and make the world a better place by making YouTube videos and trying to help people out. Like, that's going to be my thing. And I felt like it didn't matter. And it, like I wasn't doing anything. And then I, and then I thought of some of my subscribers. So then I thought of Macy and I thought, well, I think that she, like she said that this matters to her and I thought of, um, another subscriber that had said that, you know, that this was, that I had said something in one of my videos that was helpful and that was useful information. And I thought of some different subscribers and they were saying things like that. And I thought, okay, it's there. Like in my black and white picture where only the negative is in bright color. There, it is there. Like there are good things going on and even if the difference that I'm making is so tiny, it's still something. It's still something. That was really hard to find. Really hard to find. Okay. I cannot cry right now because I have poison ivy all over my face and I have just put on ointment on my face, which is why it's all shiny and if I cry, I will end up wiping it off. And so, we are going to just not cry. No tears. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. When I think about this, this experience that I had just a couple of days ago, and I think of how, um, low it took me it makes me a little bit afraid i suppose for people who haven't had somebody talk to them about it and who don't have anything in their toolkit to handle it because i know that people besides just me have those moments when you have those moments and when the only thing that you can see are those are the bad things that have happened in your life just give it a day or two go to bed take a nap <laughs> It really does make things better when you go to, you know, when you take a nap and try to look at it again and see some of the positive things that are in your life. Because there are positive things and people do love you and you are important and you matter and you need to know that and you matter to me. You, who's watching this video right now, you are the reason that I pushed through. So know that. You are important. You matter to me. You are making a difference in my life. I'll see you next time on A Lolly Life.